Hey guys, my name is Alaric Lopez. I live in El Paso, Texas in the USA, and this lesson is for week one of Coursera's Intro to Music production class, and I'm going to be covering how some typical analog audio signal cables function. So we'll start with the TS, which stands for tip and sleeve. Um, here's an example of that. It's our quarter inch connector that would connect two guitar pedals together in a chain of effects. Um, you could also use a TS cable to connect a guitar to a pedal or a guitar to an amp. Um, they're usually used for instruments. They send an unbalanced signal in mono because of the configuration of these two conductors. The tip is the positive conductor, so that sends the signal, and the negative or sleeve is how the signal returns. Remember that each one of these cables actually completes a circuit. It's not just unidirectional. It doesn't just travel in one way. Signal is being transmitted in both directions for all of these cables in order to complete a circuit. Since there is no protection for this circuit against noise, it becomes susceptible to noise from radio frequencies or lower frequencies, particularly at or lengths that are greater than 15 or 20 feet. So you have to be careful with long cable runs with TS cables. Next we have TRS cables. Um, I don't have any cables like that, but I do have um, an adapter that has a TRS tip, and that's tip, ring, and sleeve. So this can function in two different ways. It can send a balance signal in mono, in which case the tip here functions as the positive, and the ring functions as a negative, so that's the receiving. And then the sleeve then functions as a shield to ground this circuit and give it some protection against noise. If you use this cable to send a stereo signal, which it also can do, then both of the top two sections, the tip and the ring, are positive to send a signal. And in that case, the tip functions as the left channel, ring as the right channel, and then the sleeve functions as a common ground. So then we end up with basically just a big positive and a negative. So then we that functions similarly to the TS cable and our signal is stereo, but it's unbalanced. Now there's something interesting also called a TRRS cable, tip, ring ring sleeve this is a cable that is made for smartphones i have this special adapter that enables me to plug a mixer specifically and channel it into my iphone the way that this works is you have tip ring ring sleeve and the iphone has a particular configuration of these conductors in which case you have two positive ends on the end here, and those function as left and right, similar to the, using the stereo function of the TRS cable. So then what they've done is taken the second ring here, and that is our common negative to balance out our two positives here. But of course, that means that we get a uh, stereo unbalanced signal. And then the sleeve then functions as the mic input. There are other variations of this, like for Android, for instance, in which the mic and the ground, the ring and sleeve are reversed. Apple has its own patent on this particular configuration of these conductors. Next, we have a balance signal that can be sent through an XLR cable, which is typically used for microphones. Here's an example of the ends of a mic cable. We have the male or output end, and we have the female or input end. On our output, we have three pins, one, two, and three. So we have ground on this side, and then we have the two pin here, which is positive, and then the three pin, which is negative here. This does the same thing that the TRS cable does. It's just a different configuration of the same function where you have the signal sent through the positive, or in this case, the two pin. It's being received through the negative or the three pin, and it's being grounded or protected by the one pin. And then it's given some metal casing to give it some further protection. Finally, we have the stereo cable, or the RCA cable, which is red and white, as you see here. Here's an example of that. We've got red, and in this case, my white is blue. These send an unbalanced signal similar to uh, the TS cable, where the tips of these is the positive, so that's what sends the signal, and then the ring on the outside is the negative, so that's receiving the signal. And there is no additional protection for that signal, so what we get is an unbalanced signal. So again, if you have a really long run of RCA cables, then that will be susceptible to some noise. 